You like Harrison Ford as an actor? Yeah, I like him for what he is. Yeah, and one of my favorite things I heard recently about Harrison Ford and as a an, person, I love him. As yeah, well. as an actor, and this says a lot about him as a person. Um, so, understandably, Spielberg came to him to play Oscar Schindler. Okay, that would have been interesting. And it makes sense. If you're Spielberg, why wouldn't you go to Harrison Ford to potentially do it, right? Yeah. And Harrison said to him, I don't think that would do the role justice. I think there'll be too many people who see Indy when they look at me. They'll see Indiana Jones. Mm. And I think you'd be better off getting a, a good caliber actor who has less of credentials. And at that time, mm -hmm. Liam Neeson didn't have the credentials. And so Spielberg agreed with them and said, you know what? You're probably right. And went with Liam Neeson. But that, that shows you. Yeah. He, t he turned down Schindler's List be because he felt he was wrong because he's already known for he's other probably roles. probably right. Yeah, he was. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Harrison Ford. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Like so hey, Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Uh, By the way, if you want to DM me, I don't. Just on my Patreon, I respond over there. So if you're, if you're not if you're not getting responses over on Instagram, damn, doesn't even respond to me. Nope. Damn. Go over to my Patreon. Today we got a video. This is evolution of Indian fashion through the decades, 1960s through. Please let it be about underwear. Yes. Men's. <laughs> then Ranveer came in and he didn't wear any. That's it. And we filed an FIR against him. Cause yep. Culture. You can't <laughs> go commando, sir. He said, but why? All the soldiers do. Anyways, uh, it's a little informational video. Here we go. The evolution of Indian fashion through the decades. All right. You consider yourself a fashionista? Yes. every day says far more about our culture than we realize just like our politics food occupation cool. and way of life our clothing styles have also evolved over the years as india celebrates more than seven decades of independence from the british raj let's go through the changing fashion tastes of free indians over the last seven decades Consumed by the fresh scent of freedom, the 1950s had a strong flavor of patriotism. The hand-spun khadi symbolized the Swadeshi movement. Cloth saris draped in different styles or simple salwar suits dominated the scene. The fashion was largely functional and hints of European influences, especially in menswear, could also be observed. Women like Maharani Gayatri Devi and Hindi cinemas Nargis, mm. Nutan, Suraya and Meena Kumari were the fashion icons of this era. The 1960s was the decade that brought us Madhubala's Anarkali mm. suit and the tiered orange sari on Mumtaz. Moving into a new decade, women's clothing became more fashionable and everyone embraced bright colors and prints. With body-hugging churidar suits, shorter blouses, and a hint of skin on display, the 60s were also big on embracing curves. 60s Not were a crazy time. The poofy hairdos, winged eyeliner, and the uber-popular sadhana cut were also from this decade. Dubbed the decade of decadence, the 1970s were huge for fashion. The decade gave us Dimple Kaparia's iconic polka dotted blouse in Bobby, Zena Taman's hippie look from Hari Rama Hari Krishna, Parveen Babi's scant bikini, and Helen's iconic cabaret feathers. Bell bottoms, cropped shirts, oversized glasses. Platform heels and polka Very dots. similar to the but style yeah, here, yeah. You can thank Elton John for the oversized glasses. The 1980s were all about the hair or OTT vibe. <laughs> Lingy ornamentation, big shoulder pads, gaudy colors, yep. metallics. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. 
Hair. And that moment, yes. There was a lot happening in this decade. But this decade also birthed the first generation of Indian fashion designers like Rohit Khosla and Satya Paul. Bhanu Athaya won India's first and only Oscar for costume design in 1983. And the National oh, Institute okay. of Fashion Technology so she was, a was set up in costumer. In Bollywood, Shri Devi and Rekha were the heroes yeah. leading the fashion scene. Wow. That's a good look. The decade that birthed Indian Me. pop stars like Alicia Chinoy and cult films like Kuch Kuch Hota Hai and Dil To Pagal Hai. <laughs> the 1990s Dil, created Dil trends Dil that are still big today. Is there more From SRK basketball? Shirts, crop tops, <laughs> chokers, coordinates, and overalls. Look at those eyes. Ronnie. Ronnie. It's amazing. And oversized shirts. Wet action! Yeah! We saw it all in the 90s. And leading if we ever interview like Akshay, I want to do it in a pool. I am not Kajol, kidding. <laughs> often styled by Manish Malhotra, became the style icons of this period. The aughts or the 2000s saw many international fashion brands opening up stores in India. Sporting the latest styles and trends was no longer limited to people who had connections abroad. Following in her sister's footsteps, Karina Kapoor warmed things up with characters like Pooh and Jabi Metsky. Super Icon. pieces like tube tops and micro minis, as well as desi fusion outfits, defined this overtly sexy decade. Use that picture for and really <laughs> to the most recent period. The 2010s gave us social media and influencers. We slowly said goodbye to super sexy clothes and welcomed at leisure with open arms. The focus shifted away from celebrity trends and street style gained more steam. Micro bags, sheer tops, oversized sweatshirts and cycling shorts were the viral trends from this period. Bloggers and Instagram famous supermodels makeup. were the biggest trends. The amount of makeup channels and Instagrams. As the last decade comes to a close, and they get they get money. Money. Pandemic, they're probably the biggest money makers, aren't they? They're one of the top three. One of the top three. Good on social media. The next decade in fashion is poised to be more inclusive and focused on technological advancements such as smart fabrics and digital only clothes that's typically what i wear on saturday nights digital i go out clothes. i go out dressed in nothing but digital digital, out, digital, digital outerwear uh, yeah no on on because obviously the way youtube revenue works it's all through the ads and it's obviously they cater ads to certain videos yeah and so um that's why like you'll see indian movie trailers a lot for our channel right so obviously it's because the that, it's that's the main audience is indians so the people on youtube that make the most is actually people that talk about finances and stocks right i heard about that but, right because they'll, because they'll spend they know big that money the people watching want to spend money and invest money right makeup same exact thing right they know people want to buy makeup they're heavily so it's yep it, the, the, same thing with sponsorship ads on their yeah. instagrams so like yeah. like if our channel with our views um, Don't talk about was, that. Was uh, yeah, a uh, stock channel. <laughs> yep. Our our net worth might match what it says on the internet. Right. That is not our net worth on the internet. <laughs> not even remotely close. No, at all. It's a joke. Uh, I, who put that in there and I why? Have no clue how they came up with that. Astonishing. I wish that was my net worth. No kidding. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'm, I'm believing it's prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept it as a prophecy of things to come. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, that's uh, it's funny how it kind of mirrored a, a lot of what happened here in, yeah. uh, in America as well. Um, everybody, I mean, it's the world has been a c connected. I mean, obviously, especially now, but even then, there yeah, was, there was connections, especially between European countries. Yep. And, and all the kind of stuff. And, and a big, a big thing we talk a lot about the invention of through movies, how things change through. Uh, cable, how things changed through the internet, but also a big thing that changed was when satellite broadcasts came in because it started to connect the world in ways it hadn't been connected before. Mm -hmm. But even before that, like fashion was the fashion industry itself 
And always, movies and music have always been at the forefront. It's why at the Oscars, everybody's asked, what are you wearing? Yeah. Or who are you wearing? Yeah. Because they have the world's most famous designers. And I'm sure it's exactly the same at Film Fair. It's the same. And then I know what they do that at, at Cannes. Yeah, it's interesting that it's all pretty similar, but they also give it the Indian flair. Right. Um, obviously, the West is not wearing saris. No. Um, or anything like that. But it's... Um, Which is very rare. It is rare to see here, in case you didn't know. Um, like when Indrani, if we get dressed up to go somewhere, her her thought is typically like half the time, if it's a nice thing to dress up for, she wants to wear her sari. Yeah. And she looks gorgeous in it. And it's amazing. She gets a lot of looks because, number one, she looks beautiful. But number two, it's not yeah. a it common like thing. A yeah, sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, Although, unless, remember, you, unless you go into an Indian event. Remember, remember when we were in Palm Springs and that couple walked by us and, and the woman said, I love you two together. Remember that sweet lady? Yeah, because they were like interracial. Yeah, they were an interracial couple too. And she's like, I love you guys together. We were naked at the time. In the 1950s, you'd be breaking the law. That's true. We still do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I said that to Ashley. We were with Ashley the other day and I said, and, and Johnny was in the kitchen. She was making dinner for everybody. And I said, it doesn't ever even occur to me until someone else brings it up that Indrani and I are an interracial couple. Wow, Rick doesn't see color. How amazing, Rick. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's very strange. <laughs> Anyways, really like good your video. your wife. She's so, so white. No. No? Nope. Oh. I've never noticed. I don't see color. Gotcha. Uh, you looked like George W. Bush when you did that. <laughs> I don't see color. I did 9-11. <laughs> I, I, I don't see color. I see in personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, George Bush. You hear about that idiot? Who, George Bush. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go and nice. No, guy who said uh he was being asked about 9/11 and the guy he's talking to said, "Yeah, well, Barack Obama, where was he?" <laughs> Barack Obama, "Yeah, why wasn't he in the White House? He wasn't doing his job." He says, "Oh, you think he should have been in the Oval Office on 9/11?" Yeah, there's a big question about, you know, where was he during 9/11? He said, you know, there's a reason he's probably not in the White House. Yeah, well, it's probably not a good one. He wasn't the freaking president. <laughs> not till like, <laughs> like seven years seven, later. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyways, anyways. Good video. Let Fashion. Us, let what us, are you wearing? Let us know what you're wearing in the comments below. Or yeah, not wearing. Or not wearing. Actually, you should always watch this channel naked. Makes it better.